Well, it's been another month of the world, so GameRanks has another month of the top 10 weird gaming stories from August 2016. Number 10 in other countries, Pokemon Go is launching and it's causing insanity. A couple months ago, we spoke about people playing games in internet cafes in other countries where they would get foot rot and things like that because they get so engrossed in games. Well, imagine that with a game that got Americans to walk around outside for a while. It has become incredible. You would think that they were running away from a meteor landing or something. There are so many people in the streets. And you have to think about it from the perspective of Pokemon Go here was amazing. We saw people outside hanging around with each other, hanging around with cops, talking about Pokemon. But in Taiwan, it's a full on frenzy. In nearby Thailand, the Bangkok police have set up a specific squad for handling Pokemon Go related incidents. Number nine, you've heard of the Xbox One. Now, the Xbox One Z is coming out. No, not like the number one in the letter Z to denote some sort of incremental improvement. No, this is a onesie, as in a jumpsuit. It's kind of cool looking. It reminds me of a stormtrooper in a unnecessarily cuddly way. But if indeed Microsoft is looking for dominance of the living room, perhaps they're actually looking for dominance of the world. Yes, this is the beginning. First, they get you to voluntarily put on the jumpsuits. And next, they start feeding you people that they've ground into a paste and killing you once you've gotten too old, drawing random names to compete in a battle royale to remind people who's in control or something. Number eight, speaking of Pokemon Go, somebody created a working Bluetooth Pokeball for Pokemon Go. You can use it in the capture scenes to get the Pokemon. It works as a kinetic motion controller using Bluetooth and an accelerometer that they put inside it. It's pretty amazing to consider on account there is no API or anything like that. I don't really even have any idea how they figured out to do this. It's pretty amazing. They're actually in talks with Niantic and Nintendo in hopes that they're going to be able to license it in an official capacity. Get this. Oh, it's cool. It's also going to double as a battery pack to recharge your phone up to three times, making it essentially the ultimate Pokemon Go accessory. But if for whatever reason you can't play Pokemon Go, you have a shitty phone or you don't have a phone, plenty of people are like that, it's not their fault. But you happen to have a Dreamcast VMU lying around. That's the visual memory unit or the memory card from the Dreamcast with a screen and a D-pad and an A and B button. Somebody's working on a simulated Pokemon go for that little wonder. Number seven, Steam is accepting No Man's Sky refunds by users with more than two hours of playtime because, well, guess what? A lot of people think that those two hours of playtime were filled up with, you know, a lot of the same. I did a whole video on No Man's Sky and expectations and how some things were promised that maybe shouldn't have been if they weren't going to be in the final product. And I would recommend checking that out because it's one of my favorite videos I've done. At least if you want to understand why people are upset about that game and why Steam is not messing around with refunds for it. They're just like, you know what, just give them out. That game is, it's, it's a clusterfuck. If you're not a big survival game fan, it's probably good to walk away from. Number six, speaking of No Man's Sky, players that are enjoying the game are walking around, flying around, warping around. And do you know what they're finding? Dicks. That's right, dicks. Monsters with heads or mouths or eyes or ears or feet that look like dicks. The game's managed to find a bunch of different ways to make things look like dicks. In fact, there is a Tumblr dedicated to all the dicks in No Man's Sky, and looking at it, it's essentially like that scene in Superbad. Number five, Zenimax is saying that the Doom creator, John Carmack, who founded id Software, actually stole a bunch of files from them regarding VR technology that they'd been developing when he left for, guess, guess what? Oculus Rift. They're also alleging that Palmer Lucky is not the inventor of the VR tech, but rather that Zenimax was working on it and he stole it. This is, I mean, not something that you would file lightly. It's pretty inflammatory, if untrue, and not that I'm saying I automatically believe it, I pretty much would believe two individuals over a massive company just about any day, but I have to wonder if they thought this would get to a public level or not. 
The Oculus Rift people, including Palmer and John Carmack, had this response. This complaint filed by Zenimax is one-sided and conveys only Zenimax's interpretation of the story. We continue to believe this case has no merit and we will address all of Zenimax's allegations in court. Which, by the way, does not indulge in any drama whatsoever and talks about resolving this in the official and correct way. So, I'll just go ahead and say I'm not necessarily on Zenimax's side here. Number four, did you expect the Pokemon Go clones? Because I expected the Pokemon Go clones. Perhaps one of the weirder ones is called Ball Practice for Pokemon Go. The reason it's weird is not that it is a practice Pokemon Go ball throwing app. It's that they very obviously tried to make their creatures look like Pokemon, except they're creepy as hell. Some of them don't even have like pupils they're just glowing white eyes it's freakish but clearly a ripoff number three for south park the fractured but whole ubisoft has made the noceless rift which is a virtual reality smelling device it's essentially smell vision and i don't know if you know this but in the south park game the original a lot of special abilities are centered around farts and gaining the ability to fart different things well, that's been expanded for this new sequel, and they've created a virtual reality device that accommodates the smells. And it apparently works, so the smell of vision predicted in the 1950s is a real thing now, and it's disgusting because it's essentially just for smelling farts. That's it. Thanks, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. You're great. Number two, probably the least clever thing I can think to do is to stream cheating in a game, but that's exactly what a Korean player in the top 200 rankings of Overwatch on the Korean server decided to do, to hop on Twitch and say, hey, who wants to watch me cheat at this game? They used an aimbot, which means anybody who noticed that they're using an aimbot can report them, and surprise, surprise, they were banned. And although Blizzard is a little bit heavy-handed at times with how they handle bans and cheating, this is obvious. There is absolutely no recourse for this. You were cheating, and if you were in the top 200 rankings and you got banned for cheating on a live stream, nobody is going to think that you got to that top 200 rankings for real. And finally, number one, this is pretty cool and pretty lame at the same time. For the lame part, Black Desert Online decided that guess what? It's time to make some changes to their game that implement some pay to win policies. For the cool part, the players decided to protest in-game by making signs that they carry around in the game saying pay to win. Pay to win not being an official term, but one I like because it labels microtransactions that create a haves and haves not situation, which, you know, I understand if the game actually costs money, but if the game is free and you're like, well, if you want to actually win at it, it's going to cost money. I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. Frankly, you know what? A game isn't free if you have to pay to win it. So good on you, Black Desert Online players. And a quick bonus story for you as well. Battlefield 1's Collector's Edition will not come with the game. That's right. It doesn't have the game in the package. You buy it, you get a bunch of memorabilia, but you don't get Battlefield 1. Can we just call that a merch pack? How did gaming get weird for you this month? Or what story was most interesting? Let's talk about that in the comments. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day. And as always, we thank you very much for watching this one. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero. And we'll see you next time right here on GameRanks.